Today we have this pretty wacky looking integral and this video is going to be more like an integration joyride rather than teaching something new. Although um, I will be introducing a new function in the video, but uh, this video, this uh, solution development is just for the fun of it, for the journey of it, and of course a pretty cool looking result in the end. So without further delay, let's call our integral i and I want to start off by performing a substitution where we let the tangent of x equal u, which implies that x equals the inverse tangent of u and this further implies that dx equals 1 by 1 plus u squared du. And in the limit as x approaches negative pi by 2, u will approach negative infinity and we have the corresponding limits for uh, the positive case. So this implies that i in the u world is now the integral from negative to positive infinity of e to the negative u squared divided by 1 plus u squared du. And because u is just a dummy variable we can rename it back to x. So we're ha uh, we have the integral from negative to positive, positive infinity of e to the negative x squared divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Next up, notice that our integrand here is an even function of x. So instead of integrating from negative to positive infinity, we could just integrate from 0 to infinity and double the result. So we're interested here in the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative x squared divided by 1 plus x squared dx. We're going to solve this integral the Feynman way. That is, we're going to define an integral function i of some parameter t as the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative, now this is where I'm going to introduce the parameter t. It's part of the argument of the exponential function as t squared. So we have e to the negative t squared x squared divided by 1 plus x squared dx. So we're interested in the case of i of 1 and we already have some nice information about the behavior of the function at t equal to 0 because once you plug in t equal to 0 you have the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the 0 which is 1 right so you have 1 by 1 plus x squared dx which we recognize as the familiar inverse tangent integral which evaluates to pi by 2 on this interval. So we have some nice uh, information about the behavior of the function that will come in handy later of course. And we're interested in i of 1 and we have to double the result because of this even function trick that we performed earlier. We can now differentiate with respect to the parameter t and the golden question here is that can we switch up the order of the differentiation and the integration operators? Well you have this uh, Gaussian term here and you have this 1 by 1 plus x squared which is also a decreasing function on this interval. So you have the product of two decreasing functions on the interval from zero to infinity. So yeah, there are no problems regarding convergence or boundedness. So yes, indeed, we can perform the switch up and we now have the integral from zero to infinity. And because of the switch up, the total derivative becomes a partial one. So we have the partial deriv derivative with respect to t of e to the negative t squared x squared divided by one plus x squared dx. And because we're differentiating partially with respect to t, all the x terms here are just constants. So we have the integral from zero to infinity of one by one plus x squared and differentiating this uh, exponential term we have the repeated exponential term e to the negative t squared x squared times uh, negative 2t times the constant in the t world x squared. Okay, cool. So now for some mathematical trickery. Uh, my good friend Thomas Blackwell once commented on a previous video of mine saying that I should have been a used car salesman because I'm so good at this kind of trickery. So thank you very much, but I'm afraid I wouldn't be so good at being a used car salesman because there aren't many integrals involved in the business. So yeah, a wonderful comment from a wonderful friend. So now for the, what exact trickery am I talking about here? Well, uh, this factor of 2t here is a constant in the x world, so we can take it outside the integration operation 
integration operator. So we have negative 2t times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative t squared x squared divided by 1 plus x squared times x squared. And there is no harm in adding a 0. And by adding a 0, of course, I mean add 1 and subtract 1, the old flammable maths joke that if you have an apple and you take it away, then you have no apple, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so negative 2t times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative t, x, uh, t squared x squared divided by 1 plus x squared. And I'm, gonna just, I'm, I'm just going to group this together as 1 plus x squared. And then you have a negative sign here, e to the negative t squared x squared divided by 1 plus x squared all integrated with respect to x. So now using the linearity of the integration operator, we have negative 2t times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative t squared x squared, where the denominators cancel out nicely, and you have this beautiful Gaussian term here. Uh, two negatives give you a positive, so you have the integral from 0 to infinity of e. Uh, sorry about that. You have this factor of 2 times t as well being multiplied. Uh, by the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative t squared x squared divided by 1 plus x squared dx. Okay, cool. So this structure for the derivative of i with respect to t is quite nice. It's quite nice because you have some familiar terms. First up, you have this wonderful Gaussian integral here that evaluates to, on this interval, you need a factor of 1 half square root pi by uh, this uh, term being multiplied by x squared, which is t squared. So this sorts out to square root of pi by 2 times 1 by t. Okay, nice. And this term here is just the integral function i of t being multiplied by 2 times t. So this means that your uh, derivative here equals negative 2 times t times uh, this factor here. So that's just a... Uh, the t's cancel out as well. So, you have, so you're left with uh, negative square root pi. Okay, nice. Plus 2 times t times i of t. So this is a lovely first order differential equation that is quite easy to solve. You can write this as di by dt minus 2 times t times i of t or just i, 2 times t times i. And this equals the negative of the square root of pi. And we recognize this as the familiar Bernoulli equation, which can be solved using an integrating factor. For the integrating factor, all we have to do is notice whatever is being multiplied by this i variable. And in this case, it's 2t, negative 2t, that is. So the integrating factor is e to the negative integral of 2t dt. And this sorts out to e to the negative t squared. So yeah, lots of Gaussian-like terms involved in this video. And now what to do is we multiply our differential equation by the integrating factor. And then using product rule arguments, blah, 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 we have the derivative with respect to t of e to the negative t squared times i of t. And this equals negative square root pi times e to the negative t squared. Okay, now I'm going to do something that might seem a bit strange here. Remember that we were interested in the case of the parameter t being equal to 1, right? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename the dummy variable. I'm going to rename all the t's as x's. And why is that even necessary? Well, just give me a few moments and you'll find out. This is actually quite nice. I mean, it's quite different from uh, pretty much every other video I've done on using Feynman's technique to solve some radical integrals. But that's the beauty of it. You have to come up with innovative ways to solve integrals using this technique. And that's why it's so, it's not only beautiful and overpowered, it's, it's, uh, it's tricky and it's satisfying as well. It's my favorite way to integrate. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to integrate with respect to x from 0 to t. Okay, so using the fundamental theorem of calculus, that gives me on the left-hand side e to the negative t squared times i of t minus e to the 0, which is just a 1 times i of 0. And on the right, you have negative square root pi, oh, sorry about that, times the integral from 0 to t of e to the negative x squared dx. 
And we remember what i of 0 was, right? i of 0 is just pi by 2. And as far as this integral is concerned, it's related to a very special function called the error function. So to introduce the error function, I'm going to have to uh, introduce a factor of square root. Oh, sorry about that. It was, yeah, 2 by the square root of pi. And to balance that out, I need a square root pi by 2 term as well. And this structure that you have now, the one that I'm boxing, is what we call the error function, or erf t. So this is uh, erf t, and we have uh, pi by 2 outside as well, and this negative sign too. And on the left-hand side, we have e to the negative t squared times i of t, minus pi by 2. So just transfer this pi by 2 onto the other side and you're left with a positive pi by 2. You can factor out this pi by 2 and you have 1 minus earth t. And 1 minus earth is what we call the complementary error function. So that's uh, what we write as earth. -t. So yeah, that's earth -t, t that you have here. So that means e to the negative t squared times i of t equals earth t times pi by 2. Recall what our target was. We were interested in i of 1, right? So just plugging in t equal to 1, we have e to the negative 1 times i of 1 being equal to pi by 2 times earth 1. So earth 1. And multiplying by e on both sides, that gives you uh, pi by 2 times e times earth 1. And, rem and remembering that even function trick that we did back in the start gives us the integral from negative to positive pi by 2 of e to the negative, oh, it was, yeah, negative sign, e to the negative tangent square x dx equal to pi times e times earth 1. And this is absolutely perfect. And this is valid because t was equal to 1 anyway. So yeah, that was fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.